They have to fit three PCs and three monitors on that thing. They're so done for. They've got like a square patio set. Like there's no <laughs> way they're gonna be able to fit three PCs on the thing. Idiots. Chair number three. We're good, we got everything. That's day one, baby. Oh, ah! God. Okay. Just, oh God, bro! Oh, oh gee! <laughs> I mean, there's a reason people are giving away free chairs, okay? Come on, baby. Is there a, oh, gotta take advantage of the sun today. See this trick? I bet Colton doesn't know this trick. You just put your thumb over the end, sprays way harder. It doesn't look that bad, though, now that it's cleaned up a bit. Scrapyard Wars is brought to you by Honey. Honey works on over 30,000 stores, including Amazon, eBay, Newegg, Razor, Best Buy, Walmart, and more. And the best part of all is that Honey is free. Okay, all right, anyway. Yeah. So, I found uh, a better CRT. 19 inch flat screen for $15. Wait, so if we can't run 1080, ooh, hold on a second. Uh, We're supposed to game at 1080p. Do I want to roll the dice on this Lenovo thing and being able to fashion an adapter for it? I would say no, but like, I'm also not a risky boy. I think I can do it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to Lenovo guy. Why is Your he sending me like YouTube videos? Work. It's the directions to his place. Oh wow, this is fantastic. He has like, he's recording a video behind the wheel of how to go to his house. Call me if you find something crazy at the Lenovo place. Otherwise, just get one. Don't get two. I think Colton's being a wimp about the adapter. It's not that big of a deal. Now, if we wanted to do it like the proper way, we have to order this, you know, 24 to 20 pin adapter and then something, 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 whatever. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna take the power supply that we buy and we're gonna take the connector that's already sticking out of the motherboard and we're just gonna like, solder the right wires together. So we're here at the complex, and I go, okay, what's the unit number? He goes, one sec. Like, what does he need to check? Actually, I think they just moved in. This is like brand spanking new, maybe he did. So guys, here's that Lenovo machine that uh, we found for 225. Um, we verified the specs. We got a 3470 here, eight gigs, uh, DDR3 RAM, 1600 megahertz. Uh, machines are actually surprisingly clean. Um, I, I was not really expecting that, but what I was expecting right here is this very unfortunate 14 pin power supply connector. Now, uh, I think we have a workaround for this. We found uh, a pinout map online. So the plan, because this does appear to be a standard ATX power supply, let's just have a look though. I mean, if this will, if this will get us a 270 watt. Boy, this is, this is super weird. Look at this, it's got these SATA connectors that come off the board too. What a, what a strain. There's only two connectors coming out of this power supply, whatever. Yeah, this, this looks good to me. These are, these are in surprisingly good shape. These must've been from like an office or something. Oh, okay, well, there's my 60 gig SSD. Boom, problem solved. Um, what if I want two? Okay, so basically Pradeep says that if I take two machines he can do this one, which is a 4570, eight gigs, 500, basically the same machine, but a better CPU. And he'll do them for 200 each with SSDs in them. Hello. Hey, sir, um, you got a minute. Uh, I've got the, the Lenovo desktops. Did you already pick up that combo? Uh, no, I'm going to be there in two minutes. Okay, so these Lenovo desktops, it turns out he had a different one here as well that's got an i5-4570, eight gigs RAM, 500 gig hard drive, uh, 60 gig SSD, and he if I take two, he's gonna do $200 each. So we, now it's a little bit janky because the motherboard uses this uh, 14 pin power connector. So what we'll have to do is we're just gonna have to like uh, splice some wires and solder them and wrap them in electrical tape because they do need power supply upgrades It's only like a 270 watt power supply, but these are basically PSU GPU done 4570 what? fourth gen What's the GPU? There is no GPU in it whatsoever So should I still get the whole dealio here or should I just be like Yeah on the way here I found another motherboard and CPU Cause what do you, oh wow, ah, uh, oof. I think if you're already committed to that one, you might just have to do it. So maybe I should just take two then. So I'll have, this'll be mine and Colton's and you'll buy that other thing. 
Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm gonna take two of them then. Uh, this one only has the four gigs of RAM though. Do you have the uh, other RAM stick? So that the four two hundred bucks it was four gig only. Oh, how much? How much was it for eight gig though? Uh, just the cost twenty five bucks if I have to buy one separate. So what happened is that they don't oh, come okay. with eight gig. What I do is I pull from one of the system, that's what I do. Okay, so it would be another 50? I mean, that would be my cost, honestly. Think about it, if I have to buy. Okay, so it's another 50 bucks for 8 gigs of RAM uh, in both systems. I think it's worth it, so I'm gonna go for it without checking with the other guys. Okay, we're up. 8 gigs RAM, 4570. Looking good, got my SSD, no hard drive. I'll be good with the hard drive. Okay, okay. <laughs> so one tricky thing is my front USB isn't gonna work. Um, but that shouldn't matter too much. I think this graphics card is probably going to interfere with this connector here. Uh, oh, at least I hope that's front USB. Please tell me that's not like the power connector or something. I don't think it is. No, no, power connector's over here. Okay, yeah, we're good, we're good. You never know, sometimes these, I, I don't spend much time with these pre-built machines, so I don't always recognize like, what's your front USB connector that looks kind of like a front USB connector versus your, front power connector block that looks kind of like a USB connector. Uh, that's so another 40 yeah. that I that I owe you for the RAM. Okay, don't freak out, don't freak out. I'm buying two of the Lenovo machines and we're gonna fashion adapters. We still need decent mice. Um, I think mouse pads wouldn't be a terrible, terrible idea and we're, we're gonna need monitors. I had no idea what I was saying. So that was a bust, unfortunately. So no monitors for anything less than like a couple hundred bucks. Mouse pads. I'm already here, I'm just gonna buy them. We can always return them, we just don't take them out of the packaging. That was a good transaction. We've got two fourth gen Core i5 machines with eight gigs RAM, we got boot SSDs, and we are, so that gives us what? Like 350 bucks basically per machine for a power supply and a graphics card. We are gonna have some really nice performance. So Linus gave me a call and I think he was able to get a better deal if he bought three computers instead of just two, but it seems like that my deal's a bit better and just less sketchy because it uses like standard motherboard and CPU components. So I got immediately recognized again, so <laughs> couldn't exactly haggle, but we got the stuff and it's in these boxes of what were clearly his upgraded components. So it looks like that we got some really good stuff. You know, a 970 and like a 4670K. I'll still take that. Hello. Hey, you got that address for the power supply? Uh, yes I did. Okay, uh, what's your ETA? He wants to know because his roommate's gonna come down and let you in. So are you done picking up that power supply? Yep, I got it. All right, we got the power supply. It's looking like that I have $150 left for my computer. And with that, I need to get storage, a case, and a monitor. Oh. That was big. <laughs> it's like an Antec, just absolute monster. It's got a 200 mil fan. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen one of these in forever. I know, this is actually sick. Fully filtered, like this is ahead of its time. Heck yeah. But it's like 30 pounds or something. Yeah. It's like solid steel case. Um, oh man, that's actually kind of legit. This is our Xeon with the uh, RX 580. Nice. This is our fourth gen i5 with the 1060. And this is the one that needs a graphics card. Although he did give us a Wi-Fi card. I told him he could keep it. But. Heck yeah. Okay, I got an update. I was being cheeky about the pricing. I sent him like a bunch of links. <laughs> I was like, it's not new, but there are thousands of them for sale because of mining. Okay, fair enough, 150 and we have a deal. <laughs> <laughs> so we just finished building the desk here. They need a little bit of reinforcing to do because me and Dennis removed the center structures. So we're gonna grab some hinges and some more screws. I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what we've done in great detail. Wait a minute, James is right there. I hate James. Only for this competition though. They didn't realize that I dug the screws. Apparently those PCs are set up for us to, we can practice on if we want. Which PCs? The ones that we took our tests on. What? Yeah, James was just down there just, I, I don't think he was gaming, I think he was watching videos on how to play uh, CSGO. Did you watch a video on CSGO basics? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> <laughs> if you plant the bomb, like I can, where, where you need to stand to plant the bomb, I can shoot you from here, right? Uh, you can plant it further in behind that thing. Over here? Yeah. That's more That's movement than, than yeah. oh yeah, yeah you, you can see right that. Away. Holy cow, I didn't know that uh, Counter-Strike was so deep actually with like the movement penalties and 
all the different loadouts. Um, so I don't think we can go in there and like overtly like turn off the computers, but what we can do is we can kill the internet to the lounge pretty easily. There, right over here. Oh, I see it. Okay, hold on, no, it's at the front. Ah, sorry. Those cables are just kinda, they're in there, but they're not in there. We'll see how they like uh, training with no internet. Oh, switching from the lounge to this PC is kinda rough. I mean, this mouse is pretty good and I have a nice new mouse pad, but this keyboard is just squish city. I guess you can tilt it. The chair situation is not bad. I don't know, we need to sort this out. This, what the heck is this, Jake? My keyboard's not even level. Okay, so we're looking for three G305s, the Logitech mouse. Um, what are those mouse pads called? Luke, did you know that those uh, HyperX Cloud cores are for PlayStation, not PC? Is it not compatible with both? It's compatible with both. Is it? Yeah. Okay, the, well, the PS4 one is? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. That's not a problem, I guess. Okay. I'll talk to you later. MSI, Microsoft International, you think, well, that's going to be good. It's MSI. MSI doesn't make bad, which in any other circumstance, I absolutely... MSI doesn't make bad. You heard it here first. I would not recommend buying this product. Okay, well, I just want to hear about the audio quality. I only need to wear it for half an hour. All right, it seems like this is not going to be something we want to buy. Oh, hey, how's it going? So Funny guess, seeing you around. Yeah, so... <laughs> I guess you're doing what, internal scrap scrapyard wars? wars Ethernet thermal. surge protectors, eh? Yeah, I'm putting in point-to-point uh, -point to get uh, Wi-Fi in the shop. Yeah, it's... Shouldn't be texting Luke exactly what you guys are Luke's on, on our team. team. Yeah. On team? Oh, that's so it's a larger team. Yeah, 3v3. 3v3. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Okay, cool. Then he's not going to get any information from that X. No. Okay, these are only 35 on Amazon, so that's... Good luck, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Shane. Yeah. Don't lose. You guys ever, uh... We're not going to lose, Shane. Okay, so we're gonna go with these guys. I mean, they're obviously not as probably as good as those Logitech ones, but James already reviewed them, and you think they're good enough? Good enough. And it's only gonna be 35 bucks price match to Amazon. We basically have all the peripherals done except the controllers that we're gonna need for the racing game. But we just picked up a bunch of G305s, brand new, for the mice. We picked up, we went with the larger mouse pads, and this, oh well, we'll see if this is good enough. Now we're gonna head back to base and get good at CSGO. Let's go! You can see us go. Oh. What's going on down there? So James just carried in three boxes of something, I think controllers or something like that. And Jake's got a bag of what, food? <laughs> of course. What's he got? What's in that? What are they up to? Hey, okay, so Jake, what did you guys do with our chairs? Why did you move our chairs? That's so rude. Apparently two of our chairs are missing. I don't understand. Of course, of course they put them here. Not free, here for prank. Ha 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 ha. Is that a high 10? Thank you. High 10, thank yeah. you for that. Wow, real sports. Very positive. <clears throat> have fun losing. Hi, Oz, what are you, do you guys have any wired Xbox 360 controllers? Do you have three by any chance? Well, actually, I guess we do have three. We have two third party ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. So the Xbox controller deal that I had fell through. Um, he's like not home or he's at school or something. I don't know what's going on and he's like refusing to let anyone else sell them to us. I, I asked like, is there anyone else that can sell them to us? And he's like, are you asking if I can find you another seller? I'm like, no, I'm asking if you have like a roommate or something. Uh, but yeah, that fell through. Oh, uh, yes, that has a wire, perfect. Okay, awesome, okay, oh, cool. I'll get this guy. Yep. Awesome. Okay, so we got the controller at Willow. It ended up being uh, $33.59. So we're eating into our controller budget a little bit as I was hoping to get some off of Craigslist for a little bit cheaper, but honestly, it's only like $5 more than we would have found on Craigslist. Okay, so we got the last monitor. He plugged it in, showed me it was working. Um, there's no HDMI, it's just VGA and DVI, but it's completely fine. 1080p, I saw it work at 1080p, all that kind of stuff. It's good, it's good, we're done monitors. Okay, so I just finished counting all of our cash and, and talking to the other guys, figure out how much money they have left. We have $195.20 left. I have the last two Xbox controllers in my hands, which the guy that sold them was super nice and actually included some batteries, which allowed us to test them on the spot to make sure that they were working, because you can turn them on, you see the little Xbox logo shine. That was his idea. Brilliant, worked perfectly fine. Nearly $200 to spend on one graphics card. And then we're done, we're good.
we're, it's basically over. We just need one more graphics card and we have like three days to get it. Do you regularly not wear underwear? Uh, most days. We got it, boys. Our 1060, this thing's a little dirty. Um, he's not one of those guys that, you know, cleans their stuff before they sell it, but he said it works, so hopefully we should be good. I'm gonna give Luke a call and let him know. The Eagle has landed. We got our GPU. All right, so I just spent my entire lunch texting anyone who meets two requirements. They have a pulse and a power supply for sale. 45, he's asking now. I offered 20 yesterday, and uh, I just sent a message asking 30. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call and I'm gonna offer 35. So Alex is downtown right now, um, which means he could just go get it like in 20 minutes. My cover just five. I didn't pick up. Uh, yes, hello. Okay, which one? Oh, uh, you have more than one? What are you calling about? Uh, PC power and cooling 500 watt, I think. Okay. Are you able to do it for 35? No. The most I can do is 40. Really? Oh, wow. So I'm gonna try 40. Hello, do you have the power supply for sale? Yes. All right, would you be willing to take 40 for it? <laughs> Alex just messaged uh, the, the Russian guy. I offered $40 and he hung up. Yep, sounds about right. All right, so we're two minutes away from my power supply, which is just enough time to tell you guys about Honey. Honey is the free online shopping tool that you can just plug into your browser. It's a browser extension and on all your favorite sites, so your Amazon, Walmart, uh, Razor, Best Buy, all kinds of sites that you shop on all the time, they will offer you the best coupon codes that are available and they'll apply them automatically. So you'll never be shopping online thinking, oh gee, did I get the best deal? Because let me tell you, if there's anything Scrapyard Wars has taught me, it's that did I get the best deal anxiety is absolutely a freaking thing. So Honey will search all the applicable offers, it'll try to apply them, and it'll let you know whichever one is the best. The best part is that Honey is absolutely free for you because they make their money from the retailers that you're shopping from instead of from you. So go check it out at gethoney.com scrapyard. Honey was a huge part of why we were able to do Scrapyard Wars this time around, so massive shout out to them. Check them out at the link in the video description. Crap, I just messaged this guy I found a better unit for $45. This is the better unit for $45. So I just saw his message because I was driving. Said, Lol, sorry, wrong window. Yours is the better unit for 45. I am outside right now. <sighs> so cringe. Uh, let's just have a look at our spoils for $45 here. Basically no dust on the blades. Frickin' sticker still on. We just scored a pretty good deal there, ladies and gentlemen. Kid totally knew who I was, but it's just the right kind of reaction. Oh, no way. So he had no idea and the deal was already done. So everything is completely above board. Oh snap, I just got a text that says, did you work for NCIX before? Oh, this is my buddy um, ah, with the Lenovo machines. Shoot, do you remember his name? No, Parm's a different guy. I can't remember. I well, hey, didn't recognize me confirmed. Yeah, lol. Okay, cool. Alex can get monitors where he is. Yes. Yeah, I kind of think we should just take all three monitors if he's there, as long as they'll throw in cables. <laughs> Got three monitors, all from 1080p, 75 hertz, including the DVI cables and power cables, so. Okay. Wait a minute, I think we have the wrong budget. Hold on. Edsel, how much budget does each team have? Mm. Hey, stop for a second. Sorry, I'm having a hard time hearing you, even inside the car. There's a guy with a leaf blower literally pointing it at my car right now. Uh, we've got the wrong total on the sheet, Linus. We actually have $333. Yeah, we have 1800 between all three of us, not 1600 Oh? Well, wait, but we already bought the monitors that Alex bought. Like, we can't run out and buy gaming monitors now. So do we just show up with, like, cash money left over? That seems stupid. What do you want to buy, Colton? Screw it. We have two days to flip those other ones, if it comes to that. Whoa. Okay, hold on a second. Strixar9390 just uh, messaged me back. Um, okay, I'll sell it to you for 100 bucks. When can you meet? I'm gonna see if I can go get it right now. Okay, uh, Alex might be able to go get that power supply now. 
That would be sweet. I want to start wiring up power supplies and I might have an R9 390 for one of the machines. Want to drive to Kamloops? There's an RX 470 for 70 bucks. Yeah, I can drive to Kamloops, what's up? Uh, no, no, we're not driving to Kamloops. Okay, so I got Buddy here with a 580 for 130 bucks. Uh, he's going to class in New West. I caught him five minutes before his bus. He's grabbing it. I gotta let Colton know, don't buy one for 140. Hey, uh, I found a 580 for uh, 130 bucks. Wait, oh, oh, he just messaged me back. I'll be at New West Sky Train at 220. How close am I? How close are you to New West, Alex? 30 minutes away, okay. My ETA is 28 minutes, which means I'm gonna have to do some pretty fancy driving to get there four minutes early without speeding. Move! So, this is not going real well so far. We have made up exactly one minute thanks to that slow truck, but it's fine. We still got time. We are going 52 kilometers an hour to merge onto the freeway. Go! Thank you! for moving. 120, another 10. No, I would take 100 to it. No, no, that's what, I'm glad you didn't know. If I take it for less, then it's uh, against the rules. You wanna be in the video? You wanna do a shout out? Yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you, Lennis. It was better to meet you. Bro. Yeah, you too, yeah, man. You too, man. <laughs> Bye, thank you. All right, so there you have it, guys. You saw it here first, okay? Drive through, drive through graphics card, Facebook uh, marketplace deal. We got, got it at the drive-thru. Shoot, I haven't been paying attention to the chat while I've been tracking down that graphics card. Alex just messaged saying he bought a hard drive. I have extra hard drives. I guess Linus had just got in a couple of $10 hard drives, so we've got storage for days, I guess, and also it's good in case one of them breaks. Overall, I have everything that I need for a computer, and yeah, we're good to go. I am pretty stoked, so kind of what I've said like on the forums and crap for the past couple years is if you want to buy a cheap PC, get like a 970 and a fourth gen Intel processor. And that's exactly what I have here and assuming that all of it works, we should have a pretty great time gaming. Oh my God, is this an old like Wavemaster clone from Thermaltake? Yep. Wow, that is a classic and a half right there. Wait, how did you, what's that 1080 doing there? It's just a box. Yeah, okay. But we should prominently display the box, just oh, throw them off. Absolutely. We ended up spending almost $150 on power supplies, which is pretty rough, like 135 or something like that. In my mind, that like makes perfect sense. Except in Scrapyard Wars, it ain't about how long she runs. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Jeez, boy, what you doing? All good, all good. Check in the case for cracks. Thanks for delivering it too, very nice of you. <laughs> Cheers. The guy that I bought this Steel Series mouse from was kind of weird. Like on his, on Facebook, he has like 600 positive things. Like I think the guy like professionally just flips things. But I don't understand how he makes any money because he sold me this for 20 bucks. I told him I'd give him 15. He's like, no, 20 bucks and I'll deliver it to you from Coquitlam. What? And I was like, what? Yeah, the guy came to the office. The guy brought me this. I barely, I didn't, I barely done anything to it. You yeah. bought a dead hard drive for $10. That is officially the worst deal of all Scrapyard Wars time. I bought a dying hard drive for $10. It's not like it's working now. So my next task is to adapt our 24 pin power connector to this goofy 14 pin thing. So I don't have to use this adapter. The only reason I'm doing it is so that I can avoid splicing into a perfectly good power supply. Whoa, that would have been magic smoke. I had really hoped to have at least one of these Lenovo systems modded and booted today, but at the rate we're going, it doesn't look like that's going to be possible. What happens if this doesn't work? Then I need new motherboards. Yeah. Maybe new cases. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to be running around buying SSDs until we know that we have budget for them. I really hope this doesn't blow up. All right. Yeah. Thanks guys. Okay. All right, well mine took a little longer, but in my defense, this was an amazing deal. <laughs> well, I'll say. So 
And my SSDs have Windows pre-installed on them. Did you use your own? Did somebody use their own cache? No. I used $5 of my own cash. Oh, you did, okay. Uh, is that all the money you have left over for the competition? Yeah. Okay, how much did you spend on these Lenovo machines? I spent $240 on the, uh, e wait. Did I underpay? How much did you, how much were you supposed to spend on the Lenovo machines? <laughs> oh my God. I think I paid him for one machine. <laughs> Did I? Wait, where's uh? That hey, was... Mark, Mark, Mark! Hold on. Okay. Did we underpay for them? Uh, by ten dollars for the RAM. Because he said two fifty. Two fifty. Yeah, but his Craigslist post <laughs> said it is two hundred dollars per machine. Wait, so you paid two hundred fifty for both? <laughs> oh my goodness! So we have five hundred twenty. We have 45, 65, 86, 20, cool 40, 60, 80, 7, 20. He we have, <laughs> yo, we have $720. So there's still a $50 discrepancy, but. Yeah, yeah, hold on. And there's there, there's $15 that, that this pile owes me because oh, I didn't have exact change. So I used change in like my glove box. So. You got a killer deal. Were these stolen? <laughs> I can just go buy new motherboards at that point if these don't, if I blow them up. I got two fourth gen Core i5s. 16 gigs of RAM, two cases, two doorstop power supplies, two 60 gig SSDs, four 250 gig hard drives for 240 Canadian dollars. <laughs> I think, I, I think we both just like, well, we were, so we were looking at the Craigslist post yeah. while we were like adding it up together. And I, I like pull out the money and counted it for him. And he was like, yup, okay. And then we left and we were like sitting there talking in the car and he like leaves and he's like, see ya. I, Wait, like, I think, he, I think we both just spaced. But you counted it out for him too? Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't do it on purpose. Okay. Like, like we both, I think we both just went full space cadet and we're like, cause, cause we were making changes to the machine. Right. Like I was, I was like adding extra RAM and then like adding SSDs and then <laughs> the best part is, okay. Straight legit. Hold on, let me bring up his text message he sent me after, like two hours, three hours later. Did you work for NCIX before? And I'm like, yeah, lol. He's like, so you are the guy who was on the YouTube videos, if I recall it right? Okay, cool. Like he, like he might have like had an inkling or something, but he has no idea what Scrapyard Wars is. Like. <laughs> okay, so now we have like a, not really a problem, a good problem. Yeah, we have like way too much money. We are going to somewhere in Newton to pick up a power supply for Linus. Honestly, it looks like the guy never even used it. Like there's like no dust inside it, around it or anything. So Kip was just like, sure. I probably could have been like, I'll give you 20 bucks. And probably like, okay, but I didn't because I'm a nice person. Always take care of your hardware. Goodbye. Um, if we're replacing stuff, should we start listing things we don't need? Um, potentially, yeah. See if we can scavenge back a bit more uh, money. Okay. So small update, Alex has been testing our mice and while both of our G703s are functional, um, they're not great. Uh, one of them's okay, the other one is pretty brutal. So that's gonna cut into our budget for something extravagant like high refresh rate monitors if we have to run out and not only buy uh, mouse pads, but also mice. All right, I'm nearly finished making my second adapter here. Uh, I'm still happy that I bought two of these, um, just because they were a smoking good deal, but I'm no longer disappointed that I didn't buy three of them because this is really taking me quite a long time. I mean, one factor is that if we'd taken three, it's a lot less likely that we'd both have made that mistake on the pricing. Adapter number two, uh, much cleaner looking. <laughs> Let's hope it actually works though. Woo! I think we're good. Okay, so there's no actual mount for it, but we did get a couple extra fans from one of those deals. And so I was kind of thinking, maybe I'll just jam it in the front here, see if we can get a little bit more fresh air coming in through the front intake. That thing is a beast. Is this gonna fit in here? <laughs> I don't 
Let me get some power tools. Ah, oh, crap. Everything was going smoothly. I, I don't know why I thought I was getting a reference card. Ah. Uh, oh, man. Oh, yes, worst comes to worst, it, it'll fit in this system over here, no problem. Because oh. my case is in banging. Can I just do that? Because that's going to save me a lot of work here. I think I have to, I think I have to rip out this hard drive cage. Uh, I really like my 970, but I guess so. I'll sacrifice my beautiful card here for the Goodman. Hey, look, this is a better looking card. That's, actually they're pretty much equal, aren't they? In terms of performance? I think so. Which one is that? This is a 390X. Yeah, they look the same one. Okay, cool. All right, give me that. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, you also have a 750 watt power supply. Okay, that worked out for everyone. Why did I rip this apart? <laughs> ah. This 2600K's motherboard has a freaking ancient BIOS and it doesn't want to detect either of these keyboards really. And once it does detect them, it doesn't want to boot to Jake's USB 3 Windows 10. So I can't find any USB 2.0 drives. So I've, in, I've plugged in USB 3.0 drives with Windows 10 on them into like almost every USB section I can find so that hopefully I'm hitting every like potential USB chip in the system uh, but it still doesn't seem to want to boot to a USB so We think you should just throw the SSD in a different system, install Windows on it and then just put it back Yeah that sometimes works yeah, that'll be worse in terms of installing drivers and stuff, so that's kind of the, the last fallback. Yeah, Windows 10 is normally pretty good about it. Should be okay. Yeah. As long as you can get it installed working, then just pull it out right away and put it back in the other one, it should be good to go. Yeah, yeah, Okay, bye. Whoa. Oops, sorry. I thought I turned the computer off. I noticed the fans were spinning. I was like, huh? I should maybe use your computer for this. Uh, yeah, you can do whatever you want, dude. You have the newest board. It's gonna complain the least. Um, I'll hook you back up so you can go on this one. Uh, if you wanna eat, that's cool, yeah. So I got Windows installed on Jake's system. Uh, it's, I couldn't get the BIOS to update. It wouldn't detect any flash drives at all. It was being super annoying. So I just went with what David suggested and what I did last season and just installed Windows in a different system and then moved the SSD over. So this keyboard is ISO layout. So it has a short shift on the left side. And oh, it has, you took the one. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> but I want a new one. Because oh. <laughs> this shift and stuff is kind of throwing me off Still a little bit. Mess. I want uh, chairs, dude. I hate these chairs. Okay, well, we have $45. So I want a keyboard, you want a chair. I don't really mind the chair, personally. I'm happy. I'm happy. You're happy with everything. So find some chair that you want okay. um, that we can get within the price. Do what you gotta do. If it's gonna help you, like... I just wanna have my arms up here. Sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, it looks like we're gonna be able to get a keyboard for Luke pretty easily. I finally found a listing of somebody that has cheap keyboards that are normal layout and has a phone number. I just gave him a call and he's available at three o'clock. So we'll go pick up that chair and pick up the keyboard at the same time. And we should be completely done after that. Okay, so the G305 is a pretty good mouse, um, but I wanna actually change this Duracell AA, which is like, I think they're like 25 grams. We can change it to a Energizer Lithium AAA. And these are like, like 10 grams. The trick normally is to throw a ball of tin foil in between them. So I use the, this flathead screwdriver to actually make some divots in our little tin foil ball. Oh. Love it. Here's Andy turning tip. <laughs> Good luck, guys. All right, thank you. Good luck. <laughs> oh, I wish we could just sub in Andy for the racing part. My last time I got 918, and I was like, ah, oh, my goal is to beat nine. I just got 945 with a recovery crash. Did I say 945? I meant 845. I can definitely get sub 830, and I'm pretty sure I can probably consistently do sub 830. Try to do it while holding shift, and I want to see if I can even hear you. While holding shift. Yeah, that's silent. Okay, that's cool. So if I'm down planting the bomb looking like this, I won't hear you do that. That's cool. So that's super awesome. You got this. Let me get the triple, bro. Ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Oh, come on. I picked Hanzo, and you're not even going to let me get the triple? 
I got that grab. See you later. Ch -ch 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 triple. <laughs> May is so OP now. I was talking to Linus about dirt last night and he brought up like, yeah, and there's so many different maps and the one at night is in like the rain or whatever. So I was just like, uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Did you change something? Yeah, this is yeah why he I changed it yesterday at 11 and it doesn't even include the map that we've been trying. Shut the f up. What the f Adam, I'm legitimately pissed. Well, they, they didn't know anything that was in the scrap of set. Yeah. Why? Well, they should know that. We talked about it in the beginning. Wait, I'm confused. Why? Uh, yeah. I don't. Ex I don't understand. Yeah. They're all in the scrap of Wars chat, right? Oh my God! They were doing the practice map, the one from the initial tournament, I weren't love they? It. That's so funny. That's hilarious. A bunch of goof that explains why Luke gave me kind of a blank stare when I was like, "Yeah, that one at dusk and in the rain is pretty tough." That's pretty funny. That's really funny. Okay, well, that's not my problem. Uh, I'm not that upset about the dirt map changing because I didn't like memorize that map even though I practiced it a lot. I think most of the dirt practice is transferable. I'm a little more upset about CSGO because we did really map specific training. The worst part of that whole occurrence was the fact that it killed the mood for the first half day. Me and Luke and Jake were kind of at our, each other's throats more than usual. Like when we were playing Overwatch, Jake was going rogue a little bit, and when we were playing CS, we had some disagreements about what parts of the map should be called for the callouts, and the just tensions were high. 